everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a what is in my iPhone video and this is super duper exciting for me because I've never had an iPhone before and I've never had a smartphone before so just it's it's just so much fun. So I have the iPhone 5S, it is the gold one, it's so pretty, I just love how elegant it looks and it just makes me feel like a queen. You can call me Queen B. Baby I'll rule. I'm not funny. Okay. And for my case, I have the uh, case that Apple is selling because they didn't really have any other cases out at the time. So I'm going to wait for like to buy an acuter case, I guess, um, until later. So this one is just the late baby blue leather one that Apple is selling and it has a little apple right there. The only bad thing about this is that it is, because it's leather, it does get, it got stained by my jeans, like by having it in my pocket and then like the edges are starting to fray for some reason. I don't know. I, I still really like the case because um, it's just very sleek and it doesn't make the phone bulkier. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, so this is my phone. It's the iPhone 5S, like I said. Alright, so you open it up, it has like this uh, paint background. And I could either do the password. Or I can just do my fingerprint. Alright, so then it just opens up. On my opening, it is phone, calendar, photos, camera, iTunes store, app store, contacts, mail, weather, FaceTime, and then in utilities, I kind of just have a whole bunch of stuff that I don't really use. Um, clock, voice memos, reminders, compass, newsstand, stock, translator, find iPhone, which is really important because if someone steals it, I will be able to find you, so don't steal it. Podcasts, find friends, iTunes U, and game center. And then in productivity, I have calculator, notes, maps, lynda.com, dictionary, countdown, iMathematics, my at and and Passbook. The reason I have Passbook over here is because I really don't use it. Um, but all of this stuff I use pretty often, so I like to have all of that together. Uh, and then I have settings. And then on the bottom, I have messages, safari, videos, and music because this is the stuff that I tend to use quite a bit, so... Going on to this side, yes, I do have Harry Styles as my background. I love this picture of him, and it moves. It's beautiful. Okay, so in my work category, I have pages, numbers, keynote, iPhoto, and rhyme free. The reason I have rhyme free is because I use that a lot in English because we're doing a lot of poetry and stuff, so that definitely helps me out with like rhyming and all of this stuff. Um, plus, iMovie came free with my phone, so yes. So in photo editing, this is the stuff that I use for YouTube. Um, Pick Stitch, Fonto, P Photo Collage, Wittagram. I use those for my thumbnail editing. Fonto is definitely one of my favorites. You can do, um, let's just do plain image. You can use, I really like this because you can like add text and stuff. So I can just add like. I can do that and then I can like move it around and size it. So this is the app that I use to put all of my words and stuff on my thumbnails. Okay, and then pick stitch is I mean I'm sure you guys know what that is. Photo collage is basically the same as pick stitch. You can adjust the size of the border, which you can't do on pick stitch, so that's definitely one of my favorites. Um Wittagram, if you guys don't know, basically it takes your photo and makes it into a square format so you don't have to crop any of it out when you use when you put it on Instagram and then I have iMovie which I use for my video editing sometimes and then this is all of the stuff that I use but I don't use as often um, so I have pick FX characters color effects split pick pixel romantic superimpose and another characters because I don't know which one like I really don't know the difference between the two but I use them both so I have those there so that way I can use them but I don't really see them as often because I don't really use them um, and then next my next folder is social networking so in here this is all the stuff that I use quite a bit so I have Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Keek, Vine, Tumblr, Netflix, Pinterest and Kick. I have an Instagram, a Twitter and a Tumblr which I will post all of the links down below for you guys Keek and Vine I use them to only watch stuff because I really don't make I, I don't, I've never made a video for either of those but I watch other people's a lot Pinterest and Kick, they're both like personal stuff. I use them for my friends. And then Netflix. 
Um, of course, that's self-explanatory. Who, I mean, basic teenage girl who doesn't want Netflix. Alright, so in music, um, Cinemark is just kind of random. It's just an app where I can look at the movie showings and stuff. And then I have iTunes Festival, Tap Tap Revenge. Yes, I am the person that still has that because it's extremely entertaining and I love it. Um, Vivo, Tap Tap 4, Pandora, I downloads, which I really, I don't even use that. Um, and then Cinemark, like I said. And then reading, I have Wattpad, iBooks, and the Bible. So those are, that's it. In case you guys wanted to see like any of the iOS 7 stuff, um, you pull this down, it has like all of your, uh, notification so it has like tw Twitter, Tumblr, App Store um, and then if you pull this up it has airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, why is my Bluetooth on? Bluetooth, um, I think that's do not disturb, par parental orientation lock which I use that a lot um, I really really like that it has this you can like dim it and make it brighter um, your music stuff I was listening to the cab obviously because they're perfect and then on the bottom it has flashlight, timer, that's like timer, uh, lock and all of that stuff, uh, calculator, and then camera. Um, that is everything I have on my phone. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want to see more videos like this, if you want me to go into more of an explanation, like more detail into what some of my apps do, make sure to let me know down below. Like I said, all of my social media stuff will be linked down below so you guys can go check that out. I really don't use Twitter that much, but I'm going to start using it just to kind of let you guys know what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you have any video requests, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Like I said, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys some very simple ways that I like to style my concert tee, so let's go ahead and get started.